Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the Laplace transformation. Today we will see how you can find the inverse Laplace transformation by using the derivative rules. This is the part fifth of the fifth part. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Tapar Institute. So before we will move them, we will always remember that these are the some standard Laplace transformations are there and their corresponding inverse Laplace transformation. What we have discussed so far is we will solve the type 1 that is based on the standard and the shifting first theorems. Type 2 is on the shifting second theorem problems, division by S rule and the last part was on here. Now we will see in the last part here uh, how you can solve the problems with the help of derivative rules. How you can remember that it is applicable on the derivative rule. So remember whenever there is a term of the square present in the denominator whenever there is a term of the square present in the denominator or higher power or either as a cube and so on then we will apply this kind of problems so here now you can see this is my scale so it is a higher than one power so you can apply this derivative rule how you can solve them so firstly you have to start from this one and take its derivative because it's a power, higher power 2 so we can take the derivative of this what is the derivative of this is my 2s upon s square plus 4 whole square that's fine now it's a square so i can find the value of the s upon here what is the value of okay i can start from here i can find this value now since it is a here this value i can see from here i can find the value of this from so minus of 2 can be taken on the uh, here side now take the Laplace inverse on the both side. What is that? This is minus half is common. Laplace inverse of this value. This is the derivative 1 by s square plus 4. So remember that always. What is the Laplace inverse of their derivative? Any function of this is minus 1 raised to power 1. T raised to power 1. And the Laplace inverse of simple f of s apart from the derivative. If it is, the, if it is my nth derivative then what will happen is this is minus 1 raised to power n t raised to power n minus 1 raised to power of here so this is we discuss in the type 4 also so what is that now it's a derivative is 1 so i can write this as minus 1 raised to power 1 t raised to power 1 laplace inverse of apart from the derivative so the remaining part is s square plus 4 so this minus minus will be cancelled out so this part will be my here now I can apply this value as of minus 1 raised to power 1, t raised to power 1 and so on. So this part will be my cos of 2t. So this expression is, but I need the s scale. So if, if your problem is simply s upon this, then it will be the required answer. But I need the s scale. So how you can do that since it is a s times, so we can apply the derivative rule. Laplace inverse of the f dash is my here. If you consider this as a function, this is f of t. What is the value of the f of 0? So 0 multiplied 0 is 0. Now you can see this is my s square. Now you can see this is the s square. So I can take the Laplace inverse on the both side. So what will happen? This is Laplace inverse of the s square upon here. So this is the target we want. So what is that? You have to find simply the derivative of this. So what is the derivative of this part? So I can take the first function, this plus of here is the required answer because you can simply take the derivative of this f of t is the required answer. Look at some more examples are there. Again, you can see this is my square are there. So again, it is the simplify. So I can firstly take this as a completing square. You can write like this way. I can write this s plus 3 by using the type 1. This is the exponential part here. Now you can see this is my scale. So what you can do is we can start from the simplify one. S square plus 1. What is the derivative is 2s upon s square plus 1 whole square. Now I need the value of the s upon here. Or again it is a 2s upon this. I This is a negative sign. I can multiply and divide by here. So I can write as a negative of this value i can find the value of this from here this is the minus of here now laplace inverse so since this minus can be taken as outside so the power is 1 so i can write as a minus 1 is power 1 t raised power 1 laplace inverse of s square plus 1 so this minus and minus will be cancelled out here 
this is t what is the laplace inverse of 1 upon s square this is sine of t is the required answer of this problem look at the another one is there again this is my square so i can start with the laplace of 1 by s minus a so what is the derivative of this this is minus 1 upon s minus a whole square now i need the 1 upon this i can take the laplace inverse on the both side so laplace i can take this negative on here laplace inverse of this and laplace inverse of this now this is our target you want so this minus can be taken as a outside now what is that derivative of d by ds so minus 1 raised to power 1 t raised to power 1 and laplace inverse of 1 by s minus a this is our target we want so what is that lap this is minus minus plus what is the laplace inverse of this is my of this is the required answer this is the first method also this is the first method you can write like this way uh, uh, this is the first method i have discussed here otherwise you can also use them by using the type 1 because it is of the s minus a you can take as a e raised to power this and this is the simplified form but if you want to solve like this way we already discussed here you can take the laplace inverse on both side here is a power 1 so you can take as minus 1 raised to power 1 t raised to power 1 and the laplace part of this remaining part so you can see this is t and this is e raised to power 80 both have the same answers this is the way you can solve that in the next class we will see how you can solve the convolution theorems and their relative problems till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy luck